This is going to be a high level overview of the return bin. To access the return bin, we're going to click on inventory in the top menu bar. Then we're going to click on returns. Once logged in, depending on your security clearance, you'll see all these little buttons here. Return product to vendor. This is when we're actually in the process of sending it back to the vendor where you get the handwritten slip. This, you click this button. Once you receive once you receive the credit from the vendor, we're going to process credit from credit memo. Return unreceived part. If you didn't receive it on a work order and, it, and it's part of your inventory file, you can use this screen here. I would recommend if you ordered it for a vehicle to outside purchase it on that purchase order, delete it from that work order so it sends it to the return file with the correct information. Change status back to be returned. Let's say you send it back to O'Reilly's and it's actually from Napa. They bring it back to you. You would say change status back to be returned and then go back through the process of return product to vendor once you sent it to the correct vendor. Review and update is just that. All you can do is review information. In this screen here, once you click that, you can click on the far, far right, the two little dots underneath the little file folder with the magnifying glass. If you click that there, you'll get all the original information from the, the original time you outside purchased the part. You can cancel that. Write off returns, that's pretty self-explanatory. There is a security setting in the administration of single store and in the home office for multi-store groups. That way you can lock that down so nobody can do that just all willy-nilly. Move item to inventory. If you have four tires in the return bin and you want to move them to inventory, this is the button you click. Move from inventory to returns. If you have four tires that you want to send back, you take them from your inventory file and put them into the return file. Delete unreceived item. You would delete something, I, haven't, I don't think that's unreceived, so you, this is where you click that button. All your reports, so that way you can see what's in the return file. So we click either all returns, all statuses, or to be returned, we select, select specific vendors. Um, so if, let's say for example, we wanna see what's in the store still. We'll click preview report here. So this particular tra training store has one oil filter that's on the return shelf. Return pending credit. We can see here everything that's been sent back. In this case, we sent everything back to Napa and it'll give us the original invoice number as well as the RG number or the, the uh, handwrite reference number to reference the original handwritten ticket. And then we can cancel that and the last button is exit return. And that's a high level overview of the return bin.